Welcome back to Yellow Texas, where our team is exploring the heart of Waco, Texas. And next, a trip wouldn't be complete without a glass of wine. So we have made it to Valley Mills Vineyards, and let me just say, Napa has nothing on this place. It's absolutely gorgeous. So what do you say, let's go find ourselves some wine. Ariel, welcome to our beautiful estate vineyard. Thank you so much. It's absolutely breathtaking up here. Thank you. So we're at Valley Mills Vineyards. We are just about 20 minutes west of Waco, and this is where we grow our grapes that go into some of our state wines, such as this lovely Tempranillo. Oh, okay. Well, can I try some? <laughs> of course, please. And it's really pretty land out here. Um, rolling hills, lots of cedars and oak trees, and it's a great place to grow grapes. Okay, so speaking of grapes, where do you get your grapes from? Well, so we grow many of them here locally. We've got about 20 acres of local vineyards that we farm, um, and uh, occasionally we'll also buy grapes from other Texas vineyards, but everything we do is 100% Texas. We really want to give people a taste of what our state and, and our little region here in Central Texas can do. So coming for Napa, aren't you? <laughs> we're, we're coming for everybody. We're coming yeah. for everybody. <laughs> After a gorgeous visit to the vineyards, I was ready to try even more of these delicious wines. Our Viognier is going to be a French grape from the Rhone Valley region of France. Okay. Oh, it's delicious. It's really nice and light. Yes. This is something I think of with uh, kind of at the beginning of a meal, kind of with appetizers, hors d'oeuvres, things like that. This next one up, this is going to be our Vermentino. This is kind of an Italian dry white, Ooh. generally known for being a little bit creamier and obviously heavier. You're going to get kind of a dairy note up front, a cream cheese or a yogurt with a little bit of banana. Banana? Yeah, I know. Okay, seriously, yeah. it actually is in there. And then when you get down to the body, you're going to get guava, pineapple, mango, and just a slight hint of grapefruit. And that sounds like everything that I love. That was. Can I have a bottle? <laughs> Seriously, we'll get you one to go. Please. Seriously, it's great. This is our GSL Grenache Syrah Lenoir Three Grape Red Blend. It's kind of a mouthful, I know, <laughs> but those three are going to kind of come together to really make a nice, smooth, bold red wine. What you're going to get is leather on the nose and the body, kind of a nice, firm body with some blueberry okay. and then some uh, cinnamon and both white and black pepper on the finish. Okay. I feel like that would pair well with a steak. It does. Steaks, chicken, any kind of red meat really, or barbecue. Oh, with barbecue. Kind of kind of fight the spice with the spice. Okay, I like that. Well, we saved the best for last year. Okay. This is our Tempranillo. This is what we're really known for. This okay. is kind of the backbone of our red wine program. Okay. And kind of like the unofficial state grape of Texas. The unofficial? Okay. Unofficial. Not official, but unofficial. It's going to be, again, bold. Drier than the last one, okay. but just as smooth. And this one, you're going to get a strong note of cherry. That's what this grape is known for. And then a nice smokiness from the barrels that it's aged in. All right, here we go. Get a really nice whiff of this one. This one's got a great nose to it. Oh, that smells delicious. I'm ready. You ready? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. That is amazing. That's why it's the award winner. That's why it's the award winner. 